See you again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of, work stuff. I'm really sorry, I wish I... Don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Next time, okay? What's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy. Working on a story? Neck deep, as usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours? Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. No problem. I didn't mean to pry. I know you didn't. You're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you felt like that for a while though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with. I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I can't even muster up the enthusiasm, or the courage, to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since he left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit, sorry. I have to take this one. No problem. Yeah? Thanks. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. Uh, I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favour. Sure. I don't have any other plans this afternoon. Great. It's nothing big. I just need you to go downtown and pick something up for me. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang. Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshadri building, Jiva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. And you need to go do... whatever it is you're doing. Business. Top secret stuff. About that party. Sorry. Small get-together tonight. What? If I finish up early, I'll try and stop by. Okay, if you finish early. And if you can enjoy the gossip and the red wine... The way it's going, we're looking at a real girl's night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit.
Thanks again for helping me out, Zoe. Bye. Who are you? I'm here to pick up a package from Ms. Chang. My name is Zoe Castillo. She's not here right now. I don't know anything about a package. You'll have to come back tomorrow. We're closed. I have an appointment with her. Can I wait here? No, I already told you. She's not here. We're closed, so I'd like you to leave. Now. Thanks for your help. I'll come back tomorrow. By the way, that's beautiful pigmentation. What? Your hair. Beautiful pigmentation. What colour is that? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Just a standard shade that came with the, the implant. Listen, I... It's really nice. Looks very good on you. I've been thinking about going blonde. What do you think? Well, maybe. Listen, I don't have... I really need to get this done... Uh before I'm done, so... And I'm very sorry to keep you, but I really do need that package. I already told you several times. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Maybe Ms. Chang left the package for me somewhere. Could you please have a look? I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to... to search for a package. I hate to be a bother, but you see, it's my boss. She'll kill me if I don't get that package. There's really nothing I can... I know, I know, you're busy. But if you could just take a quick peek in that room, maybe she's left it in there? Oh, fine, I'll take a quick look. But if it's not in there, you will have to leave. We really are closed. Thank you so much. I should be able to climb up there.
The gas was starting to leak through. Another few minutes. What just happened? Who are those people? This is neither the place nor the time for explanations. We need to leave now. Someone's tampered with the system and blocked all access to this floor. I'll need to find a workaround. I've reactivated the manual override. Try the call button for the elevator. It should work now. Quickly, get into the elevator. We can't stay here. I probably owe you my thanks for saving my life. I, I wasn't really thinking. I... Look at me, I'm shaking. That's just the adrenaline. It's perfectly normal. Not for me. It's not every day that someone tries to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. They were trying to kill me. Now, who are you? And what were you doing in my laboratory? I'm Zoe Castillo. Are you Helena Chang? That's not... Castillo? I see. Yes. Yes, I'm Helena Chang. How do you know my name? I came by to pick up a package for a friend of mine, Jericho. Jericho? I told him I wouldn't give the package to anyone but him. He couldn't make it, didn't he tell you? I never got that message. Maybe it was intercepted. That would explain a lot. Look, I don't like this. Those people who try to... to kill you. Are they looking for... for Jericho too? I wouldn't know. But I need to leave right now. Here, take this. Please, deliver it to Jericho as soon as possible. What is it? Information. He'll know what to do with it. Why did you react to my name earlier? Do you know my father, Gabriel? Your father? N no, no, I, I knew a Castillo once, a long time ago. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for chit-chat. I have to leave. Wait, I need to ask you... Please deliver the package to Jericho right away, and thanks again for your help. I shall not forget it. Zoe Castillo. Hey! Hey, wait! Damn it. Reza has some serious explaining to do. Reza Tamiz, apartment 8. Reza doesn't have a cat. And why is the door to his apartment open?